So this is the place I'm at now. It's called the Masters of the School of Long. Long. They don't pronounce the O. It is not lay on. <laughs> it's long. And this is a cathedral here. And there's supposed to be a uh, Templar's chapel. So I'm going to have a look where that is. Is that? That says uh, because of the terrorist attacks. Yeah. It, you know, it shows a pyramid, of course. What else? What else? No. So look, this is because the, the symbol against terrorism is called Vigipirat. Uh, vigilance, be vigilant against the pirates. Well, they, they don't want to, you know, it's politically correct, yeah? And it's in a pyramid, red and white. Red is the old world order, the original pharaohs, and white is the new world order. So the original pharaohs, where they all come from, that's the most important. So they're in the top. The kings, the queens, the aristocracy. And the white is actually the second, third, and fourth sons, and, and, and the rest of the, uh, yeah. So they said they put Vigipirat actually in the New World Order, the white part, like the White House. You know, that's all New World Order. Uh, this is the red and the White House of Egypt, basically. Yeah. Okay, that's, you get it? And there's one more important detail, you know. Uh, Vigipirat, it's in the white, uh, which is the New World Order. So the New World Order, they are behind it. It even says in the logo, they are behind it themselves. You know, the terrorist attacks. You, know, you get it? So there's the cathedral, quite big. And here, apparently, there somewhere is the Templars Chapel. Have a look. So well, there it is, Templars, here in French, uh, German, and English. It says it's octagonal, so it's really a, an original Templars uh, chapel, octagonal, the original form. Because if you draw a line around the Templars uh, cross or a Swiss cross, you get an octagonal form. So let's have a look. And the Templars, they were the... Um, well, they found it in Switzerland, of course. So here they are. Yeah. Uh, the Black uh, Friday, the 13th. Here. here it says in uh, in English. Hello, Horace. So oh, this is really a beautiful chapel. One of the first, and of course the first ones are really octagonal and all that. And how is it possible? You know that all of a sudden the. Um, the Swiss could defend, defend themselves against the Austrian Empire. All these Swiss peasants. In the same time, in 1291, they were like founded Switzerland, and all of a sudden they could uh, defend themselves. You know, at the last, of course, the Templars in the last year of the Crusades. So you see, it's octagonal. This is fantastic. It's. it's Rare to see a real octagonal, a um, original Templars church. Uh, many times they've been taken over. Here you see the, the code of the Templars, uh, the, the cross of Malta, the Maltese cross, with the uh, Freemason handshake here in the middle. From a pyramid, of course. I don't know what it says here. S. Spief. Mm. No idea. Spila Spilani. says uh, but anyway here's the word commandery come on yeah commandery de long is long long the place here and uh, yeah fantastic mm.
Oh yeah, this is the basic Apaches, you know, like on the Audi car, Gucci, Mastercard. In the middle, it forms an oval, like the Oval Office. And this is Freemasonry. All that. Ah, this is a, a tomb. It used to be a tomb. Any bones in it? Uh, what does it say? Also, it says Lang de Gras, it means in the year uh, of the, the grace of God, trespass. Mm. Uh, well, it's hard to read now. How many people have been walking on it? Mm. Nice handwriting. Of course, this thing here is uh, black and white, like in a Freemason temple. They uh, also invented the electricity. <laughs> you didn't know that. Eh? They all got their noses chopped off because they got real long aristocratic noses. You know, the aristocrats they used to have, and maybe they still have long noses. They are the ones with the long noses of the ones in power. It's pharaonic. Yeah. There were also some things here on it. Wow. Let's go and have a look outside. There's this thing here. It doesn't fall, it yeah? could just fall. Right. It's in a bad shape. Some sort of a goat with wings. We'll drink the water out of it here. Coming out here. Right, some, some voodoo stuff, eh? Uh, it says Chapel of the former Order of the Knights Templar. There's also a room up there, I don't know how to get there. So, octagonal as it should be. What's that? <coughs> that's, that's how they see us, the pigs, the people. Pigs. <laughs> That's some good meals in those days, huh? It's a lady pig. See, there's another room up there. I have no idea how to get there. Not from the inside, not from the outside. Hmm. I wonder what it is. 
So at exactly the very same moment these Templars here disappeared, all of a sudden the Swiss could defend themselves against the very mighty empire or uh, uh, Austro-Hungarian uh, 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 Empire uh, against the Austrians. And all of a sudden, afterwards, we saw all over Europe Swiss mercenaries on all the um, fighting all over, killing people. So that's where they went to. Switzerland. And a real Templar told me Switzerland is the refuge. The refuge. Look, I'm going to have my temp Templar's beer. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, I don't know, it says it's a Templar's beer in French as well. How the Templars, you know, well, beer was invented in Egypt, wasn't it? Now, boys, hey, I'm going to catch you guys, hey? And then you went to Switzerland, hey? Yeah, look, Templars, some strange language. Uh, So, yeah, there I am, full of chemtrails. So here in my beer, almost had it now, there's the seal of the Templars, hey? Well, of course they told, they said, well, we made the seal like there's two, um, excuse me, I just had a couple of beers. <clears throat> um, there are two poor monks on it. In the Middle Ages, we have to know there were only three things. The people, the working class, you know, the, um, the clergy, the ecclesiastical orders, the church, and the, um, the aristocracy. There was nothing more. So where do you hide? You know, if you want to be in a... Of course, you don't want to, you don't want to hide in the big style with the people, you know. It's below... It's just below standards, yeah. So, and uh, they, uh, they were not, everybody knows that a monk, in fact, is poor. So why put it on a seal? And in fact, they were, as we know, two aristocrats. And poor aristocrats, because they were the, the second, third, fourth, etc. sons. And they did a lot of shagging, you know, the people had to work. They had nothing else to do than drink their, drink their Templar's beer. Well, there's a bee missing, temple beer, in German. There's no bee, mate. Missing something here. Ah, excuse me. So, <laughs> so this is actually why Churchill he did this, you know, like V for victory or like this. We know it's it's a Templar sign, one of the Templar sign, and it means two, the second, third, or fourth sons. This is what it means, and the new order, the second order. The new world order, you know, before there was the old world order, the old feudal system of the firstborn son. So the two, the, the second, third and fourth sons, they were in fact very poor. And this is why there are poor two blokes on a horse. Because they were the poor aristocracy who had to fight. Well, they didn't do the fighting, we did it, the people, the Germanic warriors, the Celtic warriors, the Frank warriors, they did the fighting. And the Venetians, they got rich, you know, and well, it, Venice, it's very, very Freemason, right? Templars. And uh, so that's where it's from. Two poor aristocrats, because they were not the primogenitura, the first son. Okay, well, I can go on for this, you know. <clears throat> more and more and more, you know, for hours. Well, here, it is, here it says, you know, and the, um, yeah. I just, I just took my gun out for the, um, <laughs> for the video. 